Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at the lateral breath in hyperpressives and why it's so important to get our rib cage moving and how it can really influence the pelvic floor. So one of the really important elements about the hyperpressors breathing technique is that we want to really get the diaphragm move, moving and the pelvic floor moving with it. So they work in synergy. So every time we inhale, our diaphragm comes down gently, our pelvic floor relaxes, and as we exhale, they draw up together in, in synergy. And through the hyperpressors breath work, this is what we're really tapping into, and this is so, so important. One of the underpinning things about the lateral breath work is actually posture. So if you're doing the breath work in really lovely alignment, then you're gonna get that synergistic movement. If you are tipped up like this, which can be really common, especially post-pregnancy, you're not gonna get that same synergy that you would if your ribs were directly over your pelvis. So we're gonna to look today just at the breath work in detail to get you to start to breathe into the sides and into the back of your ribs. So what you can do is place your hands around your ribs and what you want to have is your thumb towards the back here. When you start breathing, you will actually start to feel that you're breathing into your back, but sometimes that can just take a little while. But what you can do is have your hands around your ribs, shoulders nice and relaxed, really nice and tall. And we're just gonna start doing some gentle breathing. So I want you to inhale through your nose and then a nice low exhale. So you're gonna just take a slightly bigger breath in this time, really feeling the expansion through the sides of your ribs. And exhale. Keep that exhale nice and light. And then we're gonna do one more here. And exhale. So what you can also do is pop your hand on your back here, um, pop one hand on your belly because you don't wanna be really moving your tummy that much. And if you have a little look, you'll see that you can, you'll start to breathe into your back like this. So on a nice steady inhale, should start to feel your rib cage expanding through the back. And again, inhale. And exhale. And then we're gonna do one more. So again, what we're doing here is getting the diaphragm mobilized. And so the diaphragm will mirror the movement of the pelvic floor. So the more we can get the diaphragm moving and releasing, the more we can get the pelvic floor moving and releasing. And when I talk about releasing in the pelvic floor, we're talking about releasing tension. And tension buildup can contribute to symptoms. So when we can get everything working really well within the core system, this is gonna be so beneficial for your pelvic health. So the first thing is really to have a little look at your posture check your ribs over your pelvis and I'll do another video um, about this in a bit but um, think about the lateral breath and have your hands all the way around your ribs to the wards the back and just practice slow breathing and you can do the same rhythm of the hyperpressors breath so you can breathe in for three through your nose and then you can exhale through for six through your mouth you want to keep that exhale lighter and then it just literally fades away without you increasing the strength of the exhale to push more air out. So you don't wanna be pushing lots of air out with the exhale. The breath work in hyperpress is actually quite subtle. So you'll breathe in for three, and then the exhale is quite light. So you can see how light it is, and again, inhale. Exhale. And then there's a third one as well. And exhale, and this will give you a really good start with breath work to improve your pelvic floor health. The breath work is also really, really relaxing for your nervous system as well. So the three and the six breath is really, really super just to calm everything down, help you feel really relaxed. And the breathing is just so lovely. So that's a little bit more about the lateral breathing. If you've got any questions, then just do pop them in the comments and um, if you haven't done already, then do subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time. Take care. Bye.